Over the years, The Simpsons have been correct about many things. Since its inception, the show's viewers have witnessed the writer's ability to foresee a number of significant upcoming events. The Simpsons has won every episode since Disney bought 20th Century Fox, when Donald Trump was elected president and more recently when Vice President Kamala Harris wore a purple pantsuit. But their magic doesn't work in the glamorous or eerie way that fans might think. Showrunner and executive producer Matt Selman tells people exclusively, Well, the sourpuss answer I always give that no one likes is that if you study history and math, it would be literally impossible for us not to predict things. If you repeat enough things, some of them will coincide with reality, which is the math part. In addition, the historical aspect entails anticipating the future foolishness of humanity as it further descends into foolishness if a show is based on studying human folly in the past. Therefore, we don't really consider it. Selman, who has been working on the series since 1997 and started as a writer, says that the only thing writers hate is when fans put obviously fake images online and say, we predicted things that we didn't. He notes that the list of things the series has predicted, which currently stands at 34, is completely unregulated. He adds that it is very depressing and dispiriting that people want the magic to be true so badly that they just start making up scenarios that never appeared on the show. It was nicer when the predictions were just predicting real horrible events, not people pretending we predicted horrible events, he says. Matt Groening's The Simpsons premiered on Fox on December 17, 1989. The show's primary voice cast now includes Dan Castellaneta, Julie Kavner, Nancy Cartwright, Yardley Smith, Hank Azaria, and Harry Shearer. The long-running animated show is now in its 36th season. Its first episode, which it called a series finale, and aired on September 29th, left viewers confused. The bold premise of the episode, according to Selman, really worked beautifully. I think we will probably get some good streaming numbers and people would be like, whoa, I heard this is crazy. What we lost and maybe eyeballs for the premiere on linear TV. He continues, I got to check it out, stating that it was not a finale, just a playful experiment with silliness. The new season has a lot more surprises in store, but Selman believes that teasing what's to come could backfire. My worry is that the internet would get confused and say The Simpsons is actually ending if we let anyone know this idea before it aired. He says, then that would appear in some way. We would have predicted not only our well-known predictions, but also our own demise however. Selman is able to disclose that a number of upcoming special episodes, one of which will air on Sunday, October 6th, will parody a number of well-known shows. The iconic Treehouse of Horror, Halloween-themed anthology episode will return for its 35th installment and Disney Plus will exclusively premiere some specials. The Simpsons airs Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox.